As they say, it's time to get the party started. Um, first of all, welcome to Riverside Park. And what I love to say is it's a USTA Florida managed facility. And before we get started with the program today, I do have some people that I want to introduce um, as guests here today who not only support this community, support this tennis facility, support Marty's foundation, and so I just want to make sure that these people are recognized. First of all, we have John and his wife, Jean. Did I get it right? Jan. <laughs> that, okay, first two up, out of the way. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, we also have Honey Manus here, and Jim O'Connell could not be with us. He's not feeling great, but he's part of the park. He's head of the Parks and Rec Department, and we got to know each other very well. Um, then also from Marty's Foundation, we have Lynn Southerly, the fabulous executive director. And we have some of the board members here, which is fabulous. Peter, who I got to spend some time with yesterday. And Deb, Pat, Carly, Hami, and Nathan. And I believe you all are all here today. Some of you are Thank you so much for being here. Then in the back, I have some of the partners in crime from USTA Florida. First of all, I want to recognize two fabulous past presidents, Jean Mills and Nancy Morgan. Thank you, thank you, thank you for blazing the trail. Really appreciate it. And then we also have from USTA's current Florida board, Phil Girardi and his wife Michelle. Phil's our current president. We have Chuck Gill, who's our president-elect. Marcelo Gouts, who is treasurer, begrudgingly, but we begged him to do it. Um, <laughs> we also have our members at large, Adam Ross, Kainoa Rosa, and Danny Moore. And really, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Then, the, you know, one of the reasons we're here, Riverside Park. I don't know if you've had a chance to meet your new director of tennis, Margo Carter, but if you have not, please do. We're so blessed to have her, very thankful. Then other ones near and dear to Riverside Park, Nick Liguori is here as a USTA volunteer. He's done an amazing job advocating for this park. Tim Palmer, where's Tim? Um, just so dear, and he knows I love his car full of all tennis garb imaginable. Not sure if a creature's living in there, but it's it's interesting. Um, and then of course, Randy Walker, the extraordinaire of history. Um, and again, an amazing advocate for this facility. I mean, we can't thank you enough. And then, why are we here? Marty, we're here, Marty, Tom, and Sally Fish. Um, here to support them, show them some TLC, and again, advocate for this fabulous game of tennis. But before we get further into the program, I would invite the mayor to come up and welcome you to this fabulous city and to this fabulous park. Good morning. And Thank you uh, for attending this, uh, this ceremony. First of all, you know, Happy New Year and welcome to Vero Beach. And what makes Vero Beach a unique community is what you see here today. Um, this facility has been uh, taken over by USTA. They had made it a step, step function better than it was. And it's because of the, the advocacy of the Fish family and other uh, members of the USDA that, that we stand, you know, I stand here today to welcome you to Vero Beach. And what also makes Vero Beach a kind of a unique community is people like the Fish family who, who I, like, I, I like to say, they don't forget, you know, where they came from. And what Marty has given back through his foundation to our community is, is irreplaceable, is something that you can't uh, speak of. High, more highly of, and it's something that uh, would 
enhances the brand of Vero Beach and makes Vero Beach what we are. So to the Fish family, to Marty, thank you so much for being in our community, coming back and supporting your community. I know you only, or know you only used to live right across the street. Uh, this is great. Welcome everybody to Vero. Have a great time and thank you again. I want to say on behalf of USTA Florida, it's my honor to welcome you to this Riverside Park, again, a USTA Florida managed facility. And I was blessed with being president at the time that we were starting these negotiations uh, with the city to partner with them. And yeah, I, I did probably what you never should do when you see a house that you really want. I fell in love with it, love at first sight. I'm just like, I went home to my husband, I'm like, we've got to make this work. So again, I want to give um, kudos and just thank you again to Tom, the foundation, Tim, Randy, Jim's not here, Nick, um, for and there's so many others who came out and really spoke on our behalf. Um, were the wind in our sails, no question about it, to make all of this come to fruition uh, at the beginning of last year. So I just didn't want to go any farther without letting you know how much this park, from the time I first saw it to now being here today to honor Marty and his family, uh, is just a dream come true. Now for USTA Florida, you may have noticed by some of the signs, this is a pretty darn big year for us. It's our 75th anniversary of continuing to promote and provide the game of tennis to all. And when we say to all, that is what we mean from the core of our organization, whether it's love serving autism, wheelchair tennis, Special Olympics, the juniors, the adult leagues, God bless the adult leagues. Um, you know, again, that's what we mean as an organization. And so we do have plans <laughs> throughout this year to celebrate the game of tennis in the state of Florida and we want everyone to be involved but what is so great about today is Marty this is our first in-person celebration of the history trail the tennis history trail I'd encourage you to look at our app it gives a full history of our organization and so for us we said there's no better way to start it than with the Fish family and with Marty. Um, and again, the tennis trail itself, the reason we're doing this throughout the state rather than some big gala is because tennis is a community. It needs to be celebrated. And the individuals and the tennis community, you're gonna see that we're doing it throughout the year and in a lot of different geographical areas. So, Marty, first of all, the court dedication. Marty's tennis accomplishments started on this very court, coming and playing with his dad, Tom, and his sister, Meredith. And Tom gives some, who obviously so treasured in this community, coaching for 30 plus years. Don't want to put a real number on it, Tom. Um, but what I love what Tom has shared about tennis is that it builds character. It teaches you perseverance. It shows you how to win gracefully and lose gracefully. And it gives you courage. But then what I also learned in terms of the makeup of Marty is we all know in tennis you do have to be a little competitive. So where did that come from? From what I've heard and read, it's his mother's salad. <laughs> and then what I also learned and that I really loved is that his athleticism came from Sally's father. So Marty, you obviously put all of those attributes to good use. He became number seven in the world, number one in the US. He served our country on the court by going to the Olympics and winning the silver medal. He played for the Davis Cup, not one year, not two years, from 2002 to 2012. 
and then also served as our Davis Cup captain. So it is a great honor on behalf of USTA Florida to officially proclaim these courts, the Marty Fish Courts at Riverside Park in recognition of your excellence on the court. And now, over here is a um, sign in dedication of Marty that I'll read to you, and please go up and look at it. Oops, excuse me. Old school. Note cards. Um, that what the sign is going to read is that Marty Fish, an American former professional tennis player, began his journey on these courts in 1986. He turned professional at the age of 18, in 1999 and embarked on a successful career securing six ATP singles and I love this eight ATP doubles. Notably he reached the number one ranking in the USA and held the number seven spot globally as an ATP professional. Adding to his accolades Finch clinched a silver medal at the 2004 Summer, Summer Olympics and was highly had a highly successful Davis Cup career as a player and then named the captain of the team. And I'll go to the rest in a minute, but again, that's something that we're not necessarily seeing from some of the younger players. And the fact that you did it for all of those years really speaks to your character. In 2007, Marty Fish, alongside his family, established the Marty Fish Children's Foundation with the mission to offer enrichment and tennis programs in local schools. Presently, the foundation positively impacts over 24 children annually. 2,400, whatever. 24, oh, there's number two. 2,400. Yeah, you're like, it was an off year. What the heck happened while I've been gone? You need to come back from California and get this place straight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And annually in Indian River County, Florida. I'm so glad I had you all up here. Um, by supporting after school exercise, nutritional initiatives, and enrichment programs in the secure environment, fostering their preparation for healthy, productive, and successful lives. The year 2021 marked another significant chapter in Marty's life with the release of the Netflix documentary, Breaking Point. This compelling film delves into his personal journey, highlighting his experience with anxiety and depression. Marty Fish remains a dedicated advocate for mental health awareness and the well-being of youth. So anyone who comes to this park, who comes to these courts, will be able to read that about Marty. Marty, I told you, you and I were gonna be spending some time together this morning because so, we're not finished. Okay. <laughs> He's like, get me away from this stalker. <laughs> Talk to my husband, he gets the same thing around me. Um, <laughs> to start out the 2024 75th celebration of USTA Florida, Marty is being inducted into our Tennis Hall of Fame. And so, yeah, really excited about that. And so to start this part of the program, I'll direct your attention to the video. Top American tennis player, Marty Fish. Marty Fish, the athlete, Marty Fish. Marty Fish, American tennis star, Marty Fish. We have a champion. Marty Fish. Marty's journey started very young. We had a Nerf ball hanging from our ceiling. He was one and he would pick up the racket and swat it with this little plastic racket. The rest is history. It's amazing to have someone who's had such a successful life as Marty has as our inspiration. He was a regular kid from a regular family in a little old regular town, Vero Beach, Florida. And then all of a sudden he's gone to be a top player in the world. Tennis has a great culture of giving back. So he wanted to start a foundation. And the mission of the Marty Fish Children's Foundation was to help underserved youth so that they would have after school and summer activities and let them know that if you have these little opportunities and somebody cares and somebody cultivates, you can be anything. 
thing you want to be. As the program director, I am in charge of all the programs that are in Indian River County that we grant money to. It's not just tennis, it's golf, basketball, cheerleading, horseback riding, teaching the six healthy habits, making sure that these children are making friends and having fun and enjoying these programs. I started playing tennis when I was five and that was actually with the Martin Fish Foundation. So I've been involved for 13 years. I've been playing tennis for three and a half years and I've been involved with the foundation for one year. As I got older in my junior career and I started to get a little better and I was traveling for tournaments, I received grants from the Martin Fish Foundation to help support my traveling fees. Then I was given the opportunity to coach and give back to the younger kids in my community, which I love because that's what the Martin Fish Foundation did for me. The thing I like most about this foundation is the people around me. They're nice, they're easy to get along with, they're like really fun to play with. The Marty Fish Foundation provides funding for Miss Fee's Learning Bees that allows us the resources that we need to help children from high poverty communities become proficient in the areas of reading and math. Had they not provided the support for us, we would not be here today. They are our saviors. When Marty came out with his story about his mental health struggles, it was very inspirational to all of us. And I think he helped remove a lot of the stigma around mental health, and he made us realize it's okay to ask for help. That has definitely helped a lot of people. That could be Marty's greatest legacy. He basically told me that anything is possible as long as you put your mind and effort to it. He is deserving of this award because he represents the American dream come true. Somebody who started on uh, small courts in a small little town in Florida and then rose to the highest levels of professional tennis and then after his career was over, continued to give back to the USTA and to American tennis by serving as the captain of the US Davis Cup team and then establishing this foundation in 2007 with the decision, the dedication to giving back to underprivileged, at-risk children in Indian River County. Marty Fish, I would like to say to you from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I really believe that you are a special individual because you are providing so many children the resources and the opportunities they need to change their future outcomes. And I think, Marty Fish, you are phenomenal, and we are just so grateful for all that you have done Marty, when I was preparing for today, a question that kept going through my mind was, what does it take to have a heart for service? Because obviously you've got it. And I thought about the people that you've impacted through the foundation and your family and the people in your lives. And these were some of the traits that they talked about. You heard one of them, a regular guy. I heard that over and over again. I'm like, that is such a positive, because what that tells me is you're relatable, you're open to talking to everyone, anyone, all ages, whatever sport you play, and again, that you're approachable. Um, caring, you heard that over and over. Also, I love wanting to provide an opportunity for others, and wanting others to recognize that they are worthy, and that their own dream is worthy inspiring, humble, honest. And probably my one of my favorite ones was that you inspire the foundation by your own actions. You can, you can take those home and read them tonight. <laughs> so for us as an organization, your on-court accomplishments speak from them, for themselves. But truly, these traits in leadership with a heart for service, that is, in our mind, what really makes you a Hall of Fame. Now, there were a couple that I do have to share, other traits. <laughs> I did hear a very dry sense of humor and then Tom said, goofball? <laughs> so I'd now like to invite 
Lynn up from the foundation to share her thoughts about your induction in the Hall of Fame. Can you hear me? Uh, thank you, Dana, for that welcome. It's going to be a little bit difficult to compete with that video, and Dana has done a wonderful job. But most of you who know me know that I love to talk about the foundation. Uh, so this is a great opportunity. But it is a little different because today I get to do it in front of all of you at this pretty historic event and with Marty sitting just two chairs away. So this is special. Uh, and Marty is special. He deserves not only this court dedication, but the Hall of Fame honor that he's receiving this morning. And for those of you who don't know all of the history of the, per of the foundation, and perhaps maybe you think like I did several years ago when I first heard about it, that we are just a tennis tournament every spring in Vero Beach. We are not. We are an organized group of dedicated volunteers serving the community by making sure that we provide opportunity to as many children here in Indian River County as we can. And we do it because we are inspired by Marty's dream. Marty started this foundation with his parents back in 2007 when he was in his mid-20s and in the midst of his professional career. Giving back was important to him and his family, and he went on to put the wheels in motion, and here we are 16 years later, still working hard to meet his mission and making sure that every child in Indian River County has opportunity. The foundation started by introducing the game of tennis as a way for children to be active, stay healthy, have fun, and make friends. Volunteers all throughout the community aided in this cause, and dreams started to become a reality for many children. And today we are making more and more dreams come true than we had ever imagined possible. And while our roots started in the great sport of tennis, which most of us involved in the foundation have a very big passion for, like Marty, we branched out beyond tennis and now we are helping children who want to participate in any program that keeps them safe, keeps them active, and learning our six healthy habits. We are supporting all types of sports now, including golf and swimming, equine, track, gardening, cheerleading, basketball, scouting, mentoring, and tutoring, and a lot more. We are reaching deep into the community where kids need us the most, and we don't do it alone. In addition to our board, who works tirelessly to manage all the aspects of community awareness, fundraising, and program monitoring, we have the dedication and support of many other local nonprofits and hundreds of volunteers and donors who help us make this happen. They help us keep making dreams come true. We exemplify the saying, it takes a village, because Marty's dream to make sure that every child has an opportunity can't be accomplished by just one person. It truly takes a village, and we are lucky to be in the village of Vero Beach, Florida. And we are lucky for the generosity of all of you people in this community and a heart for service as Dana talked about. And the proof of our success stories is not only in the thank you notes that we receive and the smiles we see on all these kids' faces as we visit the programs, but it is in the numbers. And most of you know I am about smiles, but I'm probably just as much about numbers. So today, I am very excited to announce that last year, in 2023, we touched the lives of 3,200, not 32, 
3,200 children in Indian River County. That number far surpassed our numbers of just a few years ago, and we are not going to stop here. Our kids need us more than ever. With high inflation, parents working more hours, more jobs, the lasting effects of COVID and the continuous budget cuts in the schools for after school and in school activities, our programs need us more than ever. They cost more every year and the number of requests that we get for grants increases every semester. So we need your continued dedication to our cause. We need donations, we need your volunteers, and we need your commitment to our community so we can continue to fulfill Marty's simple dream of making sure every child has the same opportunity that he had. And in closing, I wanted to thank you, Marty, again, for having this simple but hugely impactful and generous dream and for all of you who have helped us perpetuate it. Marty, your tennis accolades speak for themselves, but your dedication to our town and the children and your vulnerability in coming out in recent years about your struggles with mental health have given us all inspiration to work harder. And we are showing children and even adults that you can overcome and that giving back is so important. These attributes are what really make you deserving of both your name on these courts and the honor of being in the USTA Florida Tennis Hall of Fame. Thank you for being our hometown hero and for giving our kids something to aspire to. but I'm gonna go with one of Randy's statements since my next comments are gonna be about him. I think he says, just do it and ask for forgiveness later. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to mention Randy Walker. Most of you know him as our tournament director, but he's much, much more than that to us. He's an author and a social media expert and the most avid tennis fan and complete catalog of every fact, figure, and name in the sport of tennis since I believe tennis's inception. <laughs> he also owns the largest sporting event plastic cup collection I have ever seen, and I have seen it. He's the guy that throws out every idea you can imagine, including this one about the court naming, which took us five years, but we got here. He tirelessly promotes our cause, and we are thankful for his service. Randy, I hope when you write the next edition of On This Day in Tennis <laughs> History, we make the cut. Thank you. John Deal. I am going to introduce one of our families that we are so happy to have here today to come up and speak a few words. I think they're going to tell you a little bit about how they got involved with the foundation, but it's the Rodolico family sitting here to the right of me. Who are, the boys are both Jacob and Joseph playing now for Vero Beach High School, and Mark, their father, is going to tell us a little bit about how he got involved with the foundation and tennis. Come on up. Oh, good. Lynn left me a uh, card so I can I can read <laughs> four score. No, you, you know it was a chance encounter with the Marty Fisk Foundation at my kids' elementary school six years ago that got us involved. You know, as uh, the saying goes, it takes a village, which I believe you quoted. You, you stole all my quotes, by the way. Uh, you know, it, it does indeed take a village. I think every father, every mother desires a community 
that their children can thrive in, that they can look up to people, that they can feel a sense of, I can do it, even from here. And Marty, you, uh, you, you set that tone and we appreciate it. I know I don't know you well, but uh, your foundation has affected my children and my family. We've traveled around and played tennis together as a family. My boys are now on the high school team. And the, just the sense of community, the fact that you guys, and I'm looking at Singletary right now, you know, that, that you walk around Vero Beach and tennis has become a community. We, we are, you are my people and uh, we appreciate that. But uh, tennis has meant the world to us. The Marty Fish Children's Foundation, now my kids work for you guys and uh, teach the next generation. And it, it's just been a beautiful journey and we are eternally grateful. This, this is something, I, I, have a, I, have a, I have a match at three o'clock, I've got to run. Uh, it, you know, it, it, it's just amazing how many lives you've touched and you probably don't even know it. And uh, we are one of the 25. Oh, 100 that, uh, that, that, that have been touched by the foundation. And we just wanted to say thank you. We appreciate it, Tom. I appreciate you taking the extra time with our kids and, and again, instructing them, teaching them, giving them hope. And uh, this is a dream. And uh, we're, we're proud to be a part of it. Thank you so much for having us. All right, Marty, without further ado, USTA Florida is honored to officially induct you into our Hall of Fame for your dedication and service to Florida tennis. And as you've all heard today, it's dedication on and off the court. And so please come pick up your award. Over there. Oh, we're gonna sit. Yeah. Emma. He's like she's bossy too. Am I doing good, Lynn? Yeah, okay. It's just like me. I, we tried. <laughs> Tall and lean. <laughs> so, uh, Marty, one of the first the first question is kind of a um, natural one. Um, tell us what you remember about coming across the street and playing on this court with your dad and your sister yeah. Meredith. Um, I remember a lot. I remember uh, obviously growing up across the across the street. Remember the sun. Growing up across the street, walking over, jumping over a little pitch to get um, to get here. Um, yeah, playing playing tennis with friends, hitting on that wall over there. Um, it, it's fitting that it's these courts because we did. These are the closest to um, the house, and and so we. I did play here a lot. Um, I never. Uh, I was able to beat a lot of players throughout the years. I never beat Djokovic, um, but I never played him on this court. <laughs> so um, maybe he'll come back when he's retired. We can get him. We can get him on this court, but. Um, but it's better. Check. Okay, good. Um, I think he's done this before. Yeah, get, get him on this court. No, um, I, I, it's uh, super, sometimes it feels a little awkward to have people talk about you um, right in front of you. Um, and uh, I, I get uh, uncomfortable. I'm not a huge birthday guy about, you know, it's all about you. Um, so this is a little uncomfortable, um, people talking about you and talking good about you, um, which doesn't happen all the time. But, um, but I, I, I do obviously want to thank you guys for coming. Um, this is, uh, it, it does give you a sense of uh, the size and scale of what we've started 16 years ago. And um, nobody more to thank that for that than my parents and, and sort of keeping it afloat as I was traveling the world. But, not living here, um, you know, I grew up obviously across the street and grew, you know, went to Beachland Elementary mm -hmm. School and uh, Gifford Middle School and Fair Beach High School, junior, junior high and ninth grade, and then um, moved on from there and spent a couple days mm -hmm. of my junior year here, I guess. Um, 
didn't go to a lot of school by then, but uh, with like an, maybe an honorary, uh, did I graduate high school? Maybe an honorary, maybe that's next, yeah, an honorary yeah. high school doctorate. Next. Um, uh, no, and, and you know, so no one more to thank than them for um, kind of instilling in me the, the import giving back and the importance of um, your voice and, and what it, you know, what, what reach it can have and, and all that. And I was thankful that, um, obviously thankful that I got my mom's jeans and sport. Um, my dad's work ethic, once I figured it out, once I understood what that was. Um, uh, certainly not his, uh, his athletic ability though. So thank you mom for that. Um, and once I was able to, uh, and he knows that, yeah. yeah. Once I was able to, um, once I was able to, um, you know, understand again, to understand that you can reach a lot of people and um, just because of this silly game and, um, you know, it was a no-brainer for me. It was a no-brainer for me to keep it here in, in Indian River County. It's again, um, we, I was born in Minnesota. We moved down when I was about four or five years old. And so this is all I remember. This is, um, these are where my roots were were instilled, and and you know, little league baseball down the street, and auto supply was it? Uh, what was it called? The yeah, auto supply. We were a green auto supply team. Um, yeah, just lots of you know, just all of my junior memories. You know, junior memories of playing um, playing tennis around Florida, and you know, speaking about Florida Tennis Hall of Fame and. It's such an incredible honor because the section of Florida is by far the best in any section in the country. Um, certainly, in terms of uh, in terms of competition, no way around that. Um, is this working? Yeah, and um, <laughs> you know, Texas, California, whatever. They don't hold a candle to how how tough Florida was in a section. And you know, I wasn't but top sort of 20, 30, 40, 50 in the state um, until I uh, moved over to Tampa to, to try and find some better players around. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't a whole lot. Robert Kovalchik and Jared, Jared and Josh and Ryan Capellan and you know, just a lot of a lot of great memories and um, I can just kind of keep going on and on. Casey's always comes to mind. Uh, they're not open on Sundays though, which is, we need to do something about that because it was the first thing I asked my mom when we were coming is Casey's open. <laughs> Love Casey's. Um, so yeah, so it's um, it's such an honor to, to be here. It's very humbling to listen to all that and um, and not kind of blush and feel like you kind of want to crawl under yeah. something. And, it's um, like being Mickey Mouse yeah, for the day. Uh, so Everybody wants you. I really appreciate that. And then and then moving forward, this is, I don't even know what your question was, sorry. That's okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, moving forward and having Lynn and, and Randy help with the foundation so much and taking a little bit of uh, slack off my parents for, for a little bit and just, you know, having the, the love and, and support for the foundation um, from them, knowing that they love it just as much as we do. So um, couldn't do without them, um, you know, and then and then obviously our, our board, um, you guys are awesome. Pat taught my, uh, I haven't seen you in a while, have it? Taught my dad how to play golf probably. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, so get, yeah, just brings back, it's a lot of nostalgia, brings back a lot of yeah. awesome memories about growing up, growing up in such a great town and, um, and so I was very, very lucky. Well, uh, your dad and I were sharing earlier, I had the opportunity to play with my dad growing up, and just the time in the car, and the time when you're not necessarily on the court, how meaningful that is to both, the parent and child. And again, not to tout tennis any more than we already have, but that is a fabulous thing about this game, that you, know, you can play as a family, and um, not necessarily have your parent coach you, but um, <laughs> doesn't always work out. But no, I think those are fabulous memories. Um, in terms of sitting here today, again, I can't emphasize enough how amazingly cool it is that this is the court that you played on. And these are now the Marty Fish courts. And obviously you don't like the attention, <laughs> but they are named after you now. Um, and, and thanks to Randy's diligence. Uh, so, I mean, 
do you want to share anything as far as that goes? Yeah, I mean, I've spent a lot of a lot of time over here. Like I said, I mean, these were the courts. I was kind of thinking about this event in my head, driving over and um, just assuming the courts were going to be over there. But it's so fitting to have them, you know, to have these. And obviously, a lot of thought went into that because these were the ones that I played on the most. These two right here. So, um, so I'm, th I'm, th I'm glad that it's that I, you know, having my parents and my dad get on me about running around on the track and getting over to that area over there and cutting cutting the corners a couple times and trying to get back yeah it's just it, it brings back a lot of awesome memories um and then finally you know again what spoke to me and what kept coming out is the heart for service i mean all of us can do it and um and especially for the younger people in terms of your inspiration with your own children and through the foundation, what would you like to share in terms of having a heart for service and the difference it can make not only in other people's lives but in your own life? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I can only speak for myself in that and being in a position and understanding that um, just because you hit a yellow ball around pretty, pretty good, um, you can, you know, you can do a lot of good and, um, I have, it's my name on there, the, you know, Marty Fish Children's Foundation it should be the, I don't know, maybe we can rename it to Vero Beach Foundation or something. I don't know. It's just, it, it feels like there's a lot of extension of a lot of people that, um, that help more so in front of the scenes, behind the scenes and everything. And um, so it's not my foundation at all. It's uh, an extension of everyone who puts in such, such hard work throughout the years. And, you know, the people that I mentioned are the ones at the forefront of that. Well, Marty, I can tell you sincerely from USTA Florida board, when we were talking about the Hall of Fame and talking about the court dedication, again, your talent on the court speaks for itself. Amazing. But through the foundation and the Breaking Point documentary, it was hands down. We're like, this is our guy. This is the reason we want to kick off this year. And we know that you don't necessarily like the recognition. As I told my daughter when she got married, she's very shy. I go, you have to face it. You're Mickey Mouse for the day. Just get over it. <laughs> um, so again, we're so grateful you're here. And we're so grateful we were able to recognize you and do this for you. And the main goal truly was the foundation. I mean, you, obviously. Um, but again, we okay really, okay, <laughs> that really was as a group talking, that's where we really wanted the emphasis. So, um, we are concluding, and before we do that, um, I first would be remiss not to talk about the USTA Florida staff that's been working diligently, quickly. <laughs> you know tons of passion and that would be Laura Bowen our ED Danielle who you saw earlier Amy who y'all met through the video Lynn Molly Sam Aaron and Marcy I've been on some of those calls and um, again I'm I managed to flub up on my own so you know you guys make me look really good could you imagine if I didn't have them so if you see them today, please make sure to give them a thank you. We also have a tent over by the hitting wall, and that's to grab a bite to eat. And praise the Lord, don't see any rain. Take advantage of these courts. And again, if you haven't met Margot, meet her, get to know her. She's our tennis director. And most of all, we hope you all have fun catching up. Maybe some of you haven't seen each other in a while. Um, also to let you know, Marty is going to be over at this table over here. Hopefully you knew that. <laughs> now you do, yeah. Um, signing some things for you. I know some of you haven't seen him in a long time and so you, that you're going to enjoy um, saying hello to him. But you've heard a little bit, a few times mentioned, the Marty Six Healthy Habits. What are those? I want to leave you with some of these. All six, number one, get sleep. Number two, drink water. Three, eat healthy. Four, exercise daily. Five, this actually is probably my favorite. Not only brush your teeth, but 
flush your teeth. <laughs> and then number six really is the most important, make friends. And so that's the emphasis in this foundation um, are the six healthy habits. So finally, on behalf of USTA Florida, we're bringing this program to a conclusion. But really and truly, this is the start of the year for us with this 75th anniversary. And please follow our tennis trail. And most of all, thank you so much for showing up to show support to this family, the Fish family that has been so involved in this community in so many different ways. And I just really appreciate everyone who came out to show them that support and love. And have a great day. Please go grab a bite to eat.